what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings we're in season six today we're going to be doing episode four we're hopefully um getting through this season um i'm not in any rush so stop rushing <laughs> i'm not in a rush because you know i um the season is okay at best it's okay at best I see what they're trying to go for, so I'm just going to enjoy the ride for these 10 episodes. Um, so, I'm not in no rush. Don't worry about it. We'll soon, we'll get to the last kingdom, okay? We will get there. Don't worry. I'm going to take my time and get through this season. Um, so, but these 10 episodes, I should say, because the season is not done. Um, so, without any further ado... Let's get to the, the episodes, all right? See you guys for the review. Okay, we are back. All right, that episode was really good, man. I, I enjoyed it. This season is really, like, it's going forward. I can track the story. I can track the story. They, the, the formula, it seems like the old writers came back. <laughs> it seems like the old writers came back for this season or something is very familiar about this season. Reminds me of when I kind of just started watching um, the show. The structure of the episodes really telling you something of where the season is going. You have less plot holes. Um, and they're filling in a lot of the information that was missing in season five when it comes to telling the story. So I have to give them props for that. This one really had me on my toes, remind me of those stakes that used to be in Vikings back in, in, you know, in the earlier seasons of stakes. You know what I'm saying? Like I did not expect them to kill kids. You now I'm saying not to say that no kid has ever died in the show before, but in such a brutal manner one of them got shot out of a tree one of them got cut down and then trampled on by the horse damn near you know what i'm saying and then we have bjorn's son getting cut down not lagatha's fault but kids should have stayed out of place until everything was over and he didn't listen the guy spotted him that guy's a bitch for killing the kid though like you know what I'm saying? Like, but I guess that's the Viking way or whatever. I, I, I don't think that's the Viking way. I, I just think that that's just, it's just weird. They weren't on the, I mean, they weren't necessarily on the battlefield. You get what I'm saying? Um, I think it was a good decision by Lagatha to have them do the signals for when they come in. Um, I know probably some of you are probably disagreeing with that and said she should have never involved the kids. Um, in most situations, they probably wouldn't have. But I think when it comes on to the village and stuff like that, instead of, um, you know, they could have sent for help, but they probably they didn't know when the bandits were going to attack. So you might as well be prepared and use all the resources that you have. Those kids were I wouldn't say they were old enough, but, you know, you would probably think that they wouldn't have killed the kids even though they saw them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they should have done what they did and stay out of sight. That's what they should have did. But they didn't. A couple of the kids did. But they just happened to be out there ready. You know what I'm saying? I think they were ready to give their lives for the cause anyways. But, you know... You know, kind of reminds me of when Bjorn was their age. You know what I'm saying? Just so rough and be like, I want to go, Dad. Let me go, Dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I remember those days, man. Um, so, um, so that was very reminiscent of that. Um, we have also the um, King Olaf getting the Jarls and everybody together to declare Bjorn as the king of Norway. Now that is going to play into what's happening back with Oleg and Ivar and all them. Even though Ivar is making his plans to take out Oleg, um, 
which is very interesting. So all the storylines that are going on right now is very, very interesting. And, um, you know, I'm getting near to, I'm, I'm getting from a, you know what I'm saying? Right now, the season is sitting at a nice seven out of 10 for me, four episodes in, but I think it's going to get better. I really do think it's going to get better, but I'm saying if it's the same old, same old, you know what I'm saying, of rushing into battles and all of this other stuff, then I'm going to lose interest. But if they continue to tell, they're telling a very, very good story right now with all mm -hmm. the characters. So I'm not, you get what I'm trying to say? You have a situation going on with Viserk. We got a situation going on with Uber. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these storylines are kind of grouping together. I'm glad that Gun Hill is going. And she's she's growing on me as a character. I'm not going to lie. I didn't necessarily like her. But they've really kind of given her more importance throughout the... Um, for the... So far in this season. Of her importance to not only to Bjorn, but also to Cat Cat. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be good to see what the interaction between her and Lagatha is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, we'll see. I guess she's a seer of some sort. She's kind of, she reminds me of, what the hell is her name again? I can't even remember her name. Um, The Jarl's wife that, you know what I'm saying, that was pimped out. Can't remember. She was taking care of... Um, she was take taking care of um Ragnar's, you know, she was taking care of the sons back in the day. Um, I can't I, I don't remember her name, guys. I really don't. But you guys know who I'm talking about. Um I think the name just came into my mind and just went away again. <laughs> but you guys know who I'm talking about. You know, she died to drowning and stuff. Um, so you guys know who I'm talking about. So she died rescuing Ragnar's sons. Um, so, yeah. So she kind of reminds me of that person. That's who um, Gunhill, not, was it Gunhill? Oh, who was I talking about? <laughs> totally lost my train of thought trying to remember this person. Um, it's kind of like Lagatha is in that, is in that position. Also, um, Gunhild kind of reminds me of that reminds me of that person in in certain ways you know what I'm saying so playing that role of protector because she was also a, a seer right she was she used to see things she used to dream things um also along with they they used no she used to see things um Oslog used to dream things too so I'm guessing that I guess that's a better comparison between Gunhild and Oslog because it's a better comparison because both of them dream. They see these things happening before they do happen. So um only thing with Gunhild like she kind of saw it after it happened. So I don't know. I guess it's like Oslog used to kind of see things before they happen in some shape or some form. So but did any of her stuff ever came true though? She, you know, she did dream about the 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 the, the sea thing, the um the thing that was gonna happen on the sea, the you know, and they were gonna lo lose a lot of people and stuff like that. And she thought at that time she thought that Ivar was going to die. I think it was Ivar that was traveling with Ragnar at the time and told him not to bring him because she dreamt him dying. But they survived. I think, yeah, I think she dreamt about it when Ragnar was taking Ivar to England. She dreamt about it. They did take the hit, and I think only the two of them survived, right? So, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So, so yeah, so she kind of reminds me of Oslog more than old girl that I was thinking about. To let's think about it. So, um. So, yeah, man, I'm following the storyline. I'm enjoying it. So I really do appreciate you guys for continuing to check out these reactions, man. I'm enjoying Vikings. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm enjoying it now. I enjoyed this episode more than any other episode I've seen in this season so far. This one was pretty good. It was directed very well. And we're, we're kind of 
on that path of following a story again that is very well done. So I got to give them props where props is due. I think they're doing a very good job of that. I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of these 10 episodes. So I can't tell you, oh, it's going to be great this whole time. Because I don't know. You know, they might shit the bed after the next episode or so. Who knows? You know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I'm going to keep on trucking these episodes out. As I said, I'm not rushing through them because I really want to take stock. Because I really want to see how they're going to end this season. What are they going to do for the second half of the season? Um, once I get these 10 episodes done, I will have that review. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Don't remember, don't, don't forget <laughs> to like the video and also leave a comment in the comment section. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.